Welcome to Ascent. I'm Fiery Grace the Gifted. I'm here with a channeled love letter from your Divine Masculine. I've already blessed and shuffled. Let's find out what your Divine Masculine has to say. Hey, how have you been? I hope it's gotten easier. Sometimes I think about everything Do you ever feel like it's, it's not real? Do you ever feel like somehow all that time passed and it, it never existed? But then at the same time that it's all there ever was. I know it might be confusing, but I, I found myself lately wondering how I got here, how we got here. And it's amazing to me that the only thing that really stands out and shines through over all this time is you. That's right, you're timeless. <laughs> but really, I, I don't understand. It really does feel like we're in this weird timeline or something. And a part of me thinks the only reason I've even noticed was to make sure I didn't leave you with, was to make sure that wherever we're supposed to be, whatever's next, wherever we're meant to go, that we're together. And for so long, this idea that I've had of everything we're supposed to share it seems like it was just an idea, but it's gotten so big. And the more I get to know it, the more I realize it's, it's a part of both of us. And I think that it deserves us. But really it deserves you. It deserves your love and attention. It deserves to grow under that fierceness. I've been so stubborn. And a part of me is realizing I almost wasted so many of our best years on fear. My vision was so off. All I could see was the hard stuff. I couldn't even see a place where you and I could have anything together because I couldn't even see a place where we would be safe to be us. 
Because for some reason I forgot that when we're together, it's all there is. My mind has been warped by fear for so long, but not anymore. I get it now. I avoided anything deep with you because I was afraid of being alone. I was afraid that the one person who sparked something in my soul the moment I met them, when they left, when you left, I would never be the same. I couldn't allow that. I couldn't let that become my reality. Forgive me. Forgive me for only being able to see what could go wrong to see the evil of this world. But also for not realizing that you, it's not just being with you that makes me feel good. You are so blessed, so gifted, so favored. You just being there brings an extra level of safety and protection to anything we do. I knew all along that one day we would be together. I knew all along that we would share something complete, something that made us feel whole, For the first time ever. I want it now. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to play games anymore. I don't want to be afraid of myself. I don't want to be afraid of you, but I most of all don't want to be afraid of what we feel when we're together. For so long, I looked at it as a curse on my life. I was so afraid of hurting you, getting hurt by you. I can't think like that anymore because it's not real. I think that's what this last year was about for me. real fears, seeing just how bad that unknown fear, the fear that stops you from living, seeing just how bad it can make things, made me really see just how awful, just how terrible I'd allowed my life to be off of a fear that wasn't even real, that wasn't even there. I have to leave that behind. I have to let that part of me go. The part of me that gets caught up and starts overthinking about all the things that could go wrong instead of, at the very least, taking the time to consider what could go right. Even if I don't believe it, at least think about it, right? But no, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep telling myself that the sun will rise tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, no. It rises today. I rise today. I speak my truth today. I can't do this anymore. And I can't keep leaving you. Because whether or not you actually need me to be happy, 
I know, I know that together we can do things we can't do alone. I'm not exactly sure why you would ever need me, but I know I need you and I know you love me. And for once not thinking in fear, I see that that is more than enough to start something beautiful. I'm not just creating joy for myself in my own life anymore. And I'm not just living a life where I pretend to be strong and powerful in front of the whole world, but you know exactly how weak I've become. I won't do it. I'm going back to, to me. I'm going back to the feeling of, of being sure for once. And then... I'm coming home for good. And then we've got work to do. That life I saw us living, it's a lot closer, a lot closer than I ever thought possible. finances, the safety, the feeling that everything is going to work out. All the things that I told myself I had to have before I was ready for you. It's all right there. It's always been right there. That's my sad truth. I think you've known all along and I'm really sorry. But it is, and this time I can't keep walking alongside a long river saying, where's the water? It's, it's right here. I can't keep doing this to us because I thought I was protecting us only to find out I wasn't. I get it now. And I don't want to have to come find you in some far away and distant land because I sat here even longer trying to make a plan. I don't know what to do, but I just feel it. I just feel it, okay? I feel like it's time. And I don't know why. And it kind of freaks me out. But I have to go with it. I have to trust that this feeling that is pulling me to you, this aching need to call you, to just show up, to just be there, to just act like the way that I feel, to just act like it never stopped, never ended. To just trust that what I see what I sense that you do too and, and just just go, you know? But you deserve so much more than that. I don't want to just come in like you expected, like you knew. Because all that's going to do is confirm all the things you also thought that you knew, that you also suspected would come with this, this new time together. I'm not the person I used to be. And if I come in like that person, I just don't know. I don't know if what you will see will be real. And I worry a little bit that I'll see it too. 
and the fear will return. I can't, I can't do this anymore and I can't leave this place only to take all my same issues into the new. But that's the last fear. That's the last hurdle. And if I can make it over this, if I can do this the right way, if I can give us the start that we need, we can have it all. And it won't matter if we're afraid. It won't matter if we struggle. Nothing will matter except that we're together. That's what this last year taught me. Because on the days where I felt the worst, something you said would come to mind. And on the days where I felt the best, it was because I had woke up thinking of you. And I was so embarrassed that I had so little to offer. Because all I could see was the lack around me and not what I had in my hands to give you. But now, I get it, you really don't need anything from me. And somehow you've been holding and storing up all this goodness for us to share. All this time I've been wandering, trying to figure out what to bring you and what to give you. You had it all. All this time I've been wandering, trying to figure out what would make me the person I was supposed to be. I was looking in the mirror all this time that I questioned everything. You <laughs> and something that we can't see. Just there in the background, smoothing everything out, getting everything ready for this moment. The sun will rise. And today I rise with it. Today, today I understand why they say it's the first day of the rest of our lives. Because it is, it is. And the life you knew we were supposed to live, the love that we were supposed to share, It's our time. <laughs> but I need you to understand that who I am when I feel confident and who I am when I don't are very, very different people. I think the one thing you've been missing about tomorrow is that you needed to know one thing before I came home. You needed to know that it's my turn. I want you to just sit back and relax. Allow me.